Hello guys, welcome back to another video of ESP32 Bare Metal Series. In this video, we will be looking on how to blink an LED in ESP32 using bare metal code. Let's get started. First open your browser and search for ESP32 Technical Reference Manual. Go to page number 63. Here you could see a bunch of register names, their description, address, as well as access type. We are going to use some of these registers today for writing our code. So first let's take a look what some of these registers are, so that you could get an idea about what we are going to do. The first one you see is GPIO out register. It is used to give outputs to GPIO pins from 0 to 31. Its access is RW, meaning you can read, as well as write in that register. Now let's take a look how to give outputs to first 31 GPIO pins using this register. Imagine this is the GPIO out register that we saw earlier. It's a 32-bit register and is used to control the first 0 to 31 GPIO output pins. Now if the first bit of the register is set to 1, the GPIO pin 0 will be set high. And if the second bit of the register is set high, the GPIO pin 1 will be set high, and so on. So if we want to turn on two LEDs connected at GPIO 2 and 3, we must make third and fourth bits in this register high like this. So in this video we will be using just two registers to blink an LED. The first one will be GPIO out register and the other will be GPIO output enable register. The GPIO enable register works the same like GPIO out register, but the difference is this register is used to configure the GPIO pins as output. As we know a GPIO pin can be configured as both input as well as output. Alright, now let's see how to write the code to blink the inbuilt LED present in ESP32. First open up the terminal and type idf.py create project blinky. This is how the project directory looks like when we create projects for ESP32. Now we are going to write the code for Blink LED. Copy the address of the registers to access it using pointers for bit manipulation. Volatile keyword instructs the CPU that the register value will change frequently and thus the CPU won't be doing any additional optimizations to skip or prevent the change. 
and UN32 indicates the compiler that the integer is of 32-bit, as we are using a 32-bit microcontroller, which helps to avoid any other problems. For getting precise delay, try to experiment different values for the count variable 